All right, welcome guys. We're here in Kadiköy, Istanbul. We're shopping for shoes. And we've come to the place where they have all the shoes. Friendly staff, hello, hello how are you? Thank you, my friend. So let me ask you something about these shoes. Yeah. We've heard Kadiköy is the best place to come and get these shoes. Good Kadiköy. And I found you. Yeah. And you're gonna tell me about some of the prices here. Is that all right? Good price, my friend. Okay, let's start. Let's start with, how about this one here? This one, New Balance. The ladies love New Balance. 650. 650. 650. Dollars? Turkish lira. 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 Okay, that's good. Good price. Is that a good price? Good price. How much is that in dollars? Uh, 20 dollars. 20 dollars. 20 dollars. All right, that seems like a good price. 20 dollars. 20 dollars that's a good price okay what else do we have what are some top sellers that you have here the most that you sell for the ladies which one do you sell the most which one do they like the most yes this one new balance uh 530s are these from china where are they from this vietnam vietnam Okay. This China. How much for this one? 1,250 This one is Chinese. This one Chinese? 600. 600. So yeah. the Vietnamese is, Vietnam, is more... 1,250. 1,250. Yeah, is that... How much is that in dollars? The quality looks really good. 50. 50 dollars. 50. 50. 50. Saying 50 for this one, but th those ones there are from China. They're a little uh, cheaper. So these ones are. Hold on. Which one's China? This one's China. This one Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam is higher price. This is China. Same model, uh, cheaper. 450, I think he said for that one. So that's a good price. These New Balances are 450. This one, one, two. This one side white, by side. Blue. This one blue. Got it. White and blue and all blue. Okay, let's take a look at some of these other ones. Some new balance. Store got busy now. How much for these, for the, these are Yeezys? Yeezy? Yeah. 1,250. Yeah. That's pretty good. So how much is that in dollars? 1,250. The Yeezys. What's your best price? This one you love. Dollar. $55. Those look pretty good. Feel good. Vietnam as well? Same, same Vietnam. Vietnam, yeah. Yeah, those are nice. I live here. I live here. We got the Adidas campus up here. Those are nice. Let me see here. What's the difference? Good car. Six hundred fifty. Six fifty for the campus? Yeah. That seems like a good price. That's uh, twenty dollars. About twenty dollars. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five dollars. Okay. So yeah, uh, good deals to be found here in Kadıköy. Let's check out some other shoes here. The flights, classic flights.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you have any Uggs? Ugg boots? No books? You're gonna get that new season? This same, same Uggs. It's off white. This one off white. Off white, okay, off white. How much are these ones? 2018. 2080. These are the off whites. It's almost 100. Those look pretty good. Good quality. Off white. Hundred dollars. Do you know how much this is if it, if it was real? No. Okay, I will check. Thank you. If this was a, a real off white, how much would this be? Do you know? No. Four hundred. Yeah. <laughs> if you're selling that for a hundred, we can take a look at that. What else? How about the guy shoes? What's the most? You have a. Uh, Airs? I saw the flights over here. This one air. Well, these are all air. Yeah. The Jordans. The Jordans people always ask about. This one Dunk. This one Travis Scott. This one Dunk colors. Okay, let's take, let's look at this one here. How about this one? How much? Nine hundred fifty. Nine hundred fifty. And where is this made? Same. This one is from Vietnam. Vietnam. This is Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam. So where the best ones come from here? In Turkey, best ones are from Vietnam or from China? Vietnam. Vietnam is Vietnam. the best quality. Bad quality, good quality. These ones are light. I'd wear these. These look pretty good. Let's take a look. This one. So, this one. The stitching. Let's see. These are perfect quality. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot. Okay. Oh yeah, let's look at the Chinese. There is a difference apparently. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big difference. Nine hundred fifty. This one three hundred. Nine fifty for the good one. Three fifty for the less good one. Yeah. Okay, so that's higher quality. All right, guys. So you heard it here. If you're gonna get the the shoes here in Kadike, um, you want the ones from Vietnam. That's the higher quality. It's going to be a little bit more money, but it's better quality. It's closer to the real thing. Good. It's almost like the real thing. Good model, good imitation, Vietnam, good quality, good price. Good price. And lots of selection here. What, do you have a name for the store? Mara. Mara. Mara Shoes. Mara Shoes in Kadike. I'm going to take a picture. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Uh, Thanks a lot. Thank See you later. Mara collection here in Kutikai. Okay, take care. Anyway, so back in Kutikai for another market tour. I like to always start at the fake market because that's where all the action is. A lot of shoes, a lot of bags, a lot of luggage. These bags go for 1,000, 900, 800 for the big ones says 1100 I saw some luggage down here a little further up for 450 500 we're gonna go buy it but as you can see here lots of selection here of really nice shoes and staff really nice staff usually everywhere Kadiko is much more relaxed uh, compared to on the other side on the Asian side near the Grand Bazaar on my last video, we were there. We'll just go down here really quick. Down here is a, a bunch of these stores. All together. Got Birkenstocks, good quality. These should be about 250 lira. Really good deal, that's about 10 bucks. A lot of bags. We've been down here before. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube. 
Um, we've been down here before, but it's always good to come back and see what's happening here. Much less hectic. It's about five o'clock here on Friday, September, I believe it's the 30th, September 30th. Lots of shoes, lots of clothing, lots of bags, good prices. These ones here are 200, so I'm gonna guess those are Chinese made. There's also Turkish made ones, but these ones I'm guessing are Chinese made, so a little, little cheaper, 200. Uh, that store that we started at, they seem to have really good quality. There's some Yeezys here, Gazelles. Those look really nice. Anyways, let's make our way through here. <laughs> 250 for soccer cleats, indoor. Seems like a good deal for Nike cleats, Mercurial. Hi. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Air Jordans. How much for these Air Jordans? How much for these ones? Thousand seven hundred. One thousand seven hundred. Are these Vietnamese or uh, Vietnam? Vietnam. Could just copy like this. Wow, that's a really nice one. I like that one. So, how much was it? Sorry, seventeen hundred. Okay, how much is that in dollars divided by? 25, 27, yeah. 65. Is that your best price? Mm -hmm. Best price. That's a nice one, man. Wow. I want that one. I keep coming by here every time there's new ones in here. Beautiful. What do you have for about $30? Nice. What do you have for about 30? 30. You have anything for 30? 30. How much? And the best card of Vietnam product. 55. 55? 60. For the Vietnamese? Vietnamese. For Turkish, 20. These gazelles look pretty good too. Wow. Gucci gazelle, okay. Gucci gazelle. This one, what's the best price for this one? This 200, 2000 to 200 dollar. 200 dollar? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Oh. 3000 dollar. Oh, you're wearing them? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking clean. You got good, you got a good... Uh... 3000 dollar. Wow, those are nice. Yeah. Looking. Where, where is this? What website is this? Is this the real one? Oh, yeah. five, five. Yeah. 555 yeah. for the real deal online. Is that American dollars? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Adidas Gucci. Gucci. 500. 519. Yeah. And you're saying, how much is this in dollars here? 200. 200. Best, give me a best price. This is for yeah. YouTube. Yeah. 200. Okay, so that's a, that's a really good deal. And I can tell you the quality looks really good. It's, it's closed, but I mean, it looks really good. So that's a... We're right in the... What's this area called here? What's this this called here? Yeah. So I can tell these? Ozelik Sokak. Ozelik Sokak. Okay. In Kadikoy. So that's the spot, guys. They got good... Thank, thanks a lot. They got all the good shoes right there. As you saw, that's about 60% uh, off. And it looks pretty good. All right, that concludes our fake market tour. If you want to continue on for the rest of the tour, we're going on an epic walk. It is a Friday in Kadikoy, Istanbul. We're at Yalukçe Ismail, uh, right in Kadikoy. And we're gonna go for a walk through the crowd.
and we're gonna check out Turkish food, Turkish uh, the stalls, the food stalls up here. Check out some restaurants. Let's check out some prices. Bread uh, with fish in it, 60 lira. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner is 60 lira as well. Those sweets over there, 20 lira. So it is dinner time here. We'll be seeing people eating. Let's go up this way and check out some of the markets. Turkish Delight. This store has everything. Oh, let's not miss this side. Hello. Now we got beautiful uh, tripe and lots of other meats. See you later. The fish market, fish is back in season now in Istanbul, Turkey. So we got fish heads. Lots of fish, the fish market, beautiful fish market. Uh, all these, if you want fish in Istanbul, Kadıköy is one of the places that you can come to to get beautiful fish. Hello, how are you? Can I take a picture of your... Beautiful cheese, lots of Turkish cheese. Uh, natural doğal cheese. Natural Turkey cheese. cheese. This is a, a butter, beautiful butter. Look at this. Endless selection of cheeses. Hello. Got beautiful cheeses. We got meats. We got lots here. We got honey, olives. All these places that I usually don't go into. When I get to go on it, it's great. You guys get to see that. These guys are making fun of me, I think, about the Turkish cheese. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. We'll see you next week. This is more of a, looks like a grocery store. Normal cheeses. Another fish market. Look at this. Let's just listen to these guys go at it for a second. Look at the bargaining. <laughs> Let's watch the action. It's dinner time. People are picking up the fish. Fresh fish to take home. That's the line here. More fish. Look at the gills. Red gills, that's a good sign of a fresh fish. And here they look at the eyes. If the eyes are clear, that's also a good sign that the fish is fresh. So that's what we look for. Then you can buy the fish right here and eat that. It's not too bad here. It's not too busy. Here's more fish. It's fish season. The fish are back. The restaurants are full as well. That salmon there is black sea salmon and tuna next to that one. So we'll continue up this way. Get into the action. More fish, more fish. 
Beautiful. Back to the olives. Look at these olives. Got tourists taking pictures of the uh, pickles. They got pickle juice in there. You guys should go in there and drink some pickle juice. If you speak English. No, you don't speak English. Okay. Beautiful. They don't speak English, apparently. Which is okay. We've been by here before in previous videos. Check out the playlist for those. We got lots of nice meats being cut up. Olives. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. All right, we're gonna go down here and check out some restaurants and some of the other food places. Restaurants setting up for tonight. It's your typical restaurant here in Kadikoy, Istanbul. It is Friday night, so this will be all full later on. Do you know what time it is? Time? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So it's uh, 5.30. 5.30 on a Friday. Slowly but surely things are going to start filling up. Doner is being cut up. This looks like it's a new place. 200 for a combo. So less than 10 bucks for a combo. Fries, doner, and a Coke. These are some coffee places here on the corner. People having some coffees, cigarettes. Kızılkaya, this is a famous dinner place. This guy loves it. Look at this guy eat. This guy eat. Look at this beautiful, beautiful meat. Look at that meat. Beautiful, beautiful. I want to get right into that and eat it. It's time to eat. Hello. It's time to eat. Five thirty, just the beginning of the night. People start right now, and it'll go all night. Let's go back up this way. We'll come back down here in a second. There's some more restaurants up this way. Might be more interesting. This is uh, bread with fish for 85 lira. We'll go down here where all the restaurants are. See the 5.30 Friday night dinner game here in Istanbul, Turkey. 
2013 in 4K. I'm gonna slow down and try to catch the vibes. Not a hundred percent busy yet. Ooh, Lahmajun. This place is a Lahmajun place. Beautiful Lahmajun. Uh, yeah, you put the veggies in there and squeeze some lemon juice on it, twirl it up, and then down the slammer. Beautiful honey. These guys sell a lot of good Turkish honey. It's a famous veneer place here. Look at that meat. They got the light on it too. Hi. Okay. Oh, he's making bread in the oven. I think we caught that. Maybe one more. Just putting the bread right into the oven. Tender oven. The food here, for most of you, you may know, but the food here is amazing. All sorts of foods. Lahmacun, which is like a Turkish pizza. We just saw that. Doner is everywhere. Uh, kebab everywhere. Meze. Uh, grumpy waiters. It's a kebab place. And of course, after you're done, you're eating the main meal, you have tea afterwards with some sweets and here the famous sweets baklava there's other ones too but baklava is the one that most people would know okay i'm gonna go up this way and then we'll loop back around come back down this way. It's a soup place. Lots of soups. This place on the right is a happy hour kind of drinking spot where the younger people hang out. On the corner up here is going to be a midya place, which is mussels over uh, beautifully seasoned rice. Let's see if they have some here. Oh yeah, here we go. These are mussels midya, the best Turkish midya. This is our man here. Hello. Hello. How much for one? One piece is six lira. Six lira. Yes. Okay, so. This is for YouTube. I'm letting okay. them know. Bye. One for six, so you get ten for sixty. Ten would probably fill you up pretty good as an appetizer. And sixty liras, is uh, a little less than three dollars, two seventy-five. Really good for delicious app. Um, 
Yeah, that's a good deal. So we'll just go up this way a little bit. We'll hang a right and go back down. Check out some other restaurants and bars. So if we keep walking up this way, up this way, straight ahead, that would take us to Moda in Fedika area. Uh, that's where a lot of the bars are, that's where a lot of the younger people hang out. Less food, it's more about drinking, kind of outdoor bars. Uh, if we have some time, we'll get there. But right now I want to show you all the different restaurants here. It's Friday night, they're all going to be full. And then we can make our way to, uh, to Moda in a, in a little bit. We're still going to be going for an epic walk here. Gotta watch out for the cars here. A lot of traffic. Lots of cool shopping for the ladies here. There's art, lots of shopping. And then this area still has some cool older buildings. As you can see here, that's a at least a hundred year old building. Uh, that's been maintained. Could be a boutique hotel, not sure. But there's a lot of that here in Kadiko, Istanbul. As you can see, there's food everywhere. Food, restaurants, everywhere. This is Gözleme, which is like a... Uh, How would I explain it? Like a quesadilla except without meat. It's just got cheese inside of it or potatoes. And then we have mussels, famous Turkish mussels. Find this a lot of places. She's buying 15 for here. And then there's a special sauce, with it, which is uh, kind of a buttery taste to it. You can get it with the sauce or without the sauce. I didn't ask the price, but other place said six, so I'm sure that place is probably around six as well. Six li uh, lira a piece. The dollar today is 27, the US dollar is 27 for one. So, um, I don't know, you guys do the math. Cool little bar down here. Have some tourists here. Black Bull Kadike. Everyone's chilling out at the bars, getting the night started.
says open 24 7. I wonder if that's if that's real. Maybe for food there. Got a sleepy sleepy puppy. And another sleepy puppy. A lot of street dogs here, but they're safe. They don't bite. And they've all had their shots. If you're here and you see street dogs, best way to check that is look at their ear for a tag. That means they've been checked and they've had their shots. <laughs> all right, so going down another bar street here. Down here it looks like more kind of bar kind of vibe. When Fenerbahce, the soccer team plays, there's a lot of pre-drinking that happens here, around this area here. And it's a happy hour for 46, 52, Too bad. It could have been a thumbnail. Not today. So this corner spot hasn't filled up yet. I'm guessing it's a little bit more expensive. Let's take a look at the menu. Excuse me, fish kebab. Hi, fish kebab. Uh, Turkish kebab. Turkish kebab has pizza, yeah, and the goat, and steak. Turkish fish. Lamb chops. Yes, okay. Lamb chops. Lamb. Lamb chops. Pizzola. Five forty for Five how many? Three. How yes. many lamb chops? Four. 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 Four big lamb chops. Five forty. Very good. Okay. Fun to come back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That guy was rude. That guy was rude. I'm trying to give you business, buddy. Oh, and my camera. Hold on a second. We continue our tour of Kadıköy, Istanbul. It is, I believe, the 30th of September. It's a Friday. It may be the 1st of October. It's the Friday. I do know it's a Friday. And it's about 6 o'clock at this point. It's about 6 o'clock. Let's go down here. This is more of the shopping kind of area. Less restaurants, more shopping. But there's restaurants as well, of course. We'll go down towards Starbucks. Beautiful sweets. That top row there, they call those Izmir Bomba which is like a, Izmir is a city. It's a Nutella filled kind of pastry. It's a very thin layer on top and it's basically just a big Nutella ball. So it's a flavor explosion. So we call it bomba. Traditional Turkish coffee being made over coals. Let's take a look. Got some ash in there, but beautiful. I can smell it. Beautiful. The Turkish cups. 
coffees and that Kuru Coffee Jamehme Defendi. That's that's the best coffee. Got a video of uh, me buying that coffee on the Asian side or on the uh, European side. This we're on the Asian side right now. Kudukoy Istanbul is on the Asian side. You can see this uh, cool little coffee spot. These are competing coffee guys on each corner. So there's a coffee spot there, coffee spot here. And then we got street dogs. Got lots of action. Got lots of action here. Here is a kind of a church up here. There are churches here in uh, Turkey as well. I believe this is uh, a Greek church, maybe Armenian. We'll find out in a second. Beautiful sweets. Look at these sweets. I got three of those yesterday and ate all three. Look at this. Look at this beautiful sweets. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, that's uh, Armenian church. That's what it says up there. And they're selling flowers here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright, let's go down to Starbucks. These are new. These are brand new. They put up some uh, kind of ancient looking stool things for people. And there's a alligator over there. That's new. Let's check it out. I think these might be some ancient ruins that they've put in the middle of Kadikoy. That's kind of cool. Turkey, of course, has, or Turkey has uh, lots of ancient ruins. So much that a farmer might start digging and find some. It happens on the daily here because of the ancient cultures that have lived here over the millennia. Gets a little busier here, lots of traffic. Friends meeting each other. Some more food, this has got uh, chicken, pulled chicken pieces over rice. Uh, called tavuklu pilav. Well, there's curry, curry pilav as well. And uh, it's probably, it's not that expensive. This is some more affordable kind of a food option. I'm just not going to say anything. I'm going to pretend like I'm doing something else. But that food looks really good. Köfte, which is sort of like meatballs, is a fan favorite. In fact, the Swedish meatball, if you look into the history of the Swedish meatball, it was it comes from the, the Turkish sultan who sent the recipe 
to the, the Swedish king back in the day. So in fact, the Swedish meatball is a Turkish meatball. Some MJ, some sweets. Here, we finally made it to the Starbucks area. This is sort of where most people will come into the Kadikö area, the market. From the metro area. We've got some rockers. We've got some rocker kids walking by, that's cool. So like I was saying, uh, the metro is just over this way. So a lot of people will come through here and move their way up. So I'll just walk us to the street and then we'll head back into the market. Just to get an air, a feel for sort of the, the people of Istanbul, Turkey. In 2023, in 4K, Sun sets around 7 o'clock this time of year. I think I should be able to get a shot of the... Oh! It's always good to see that doggies trying to cross the road. He's pretty relaxed though. He's just gonna sit down. He's got that ear tag, so that means he's been he has his shot. All right, so that's that's the street dog action. There's another one there. All right, let's keep moving. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. I am trying to get a thumbnail for those that know. People are relaxing, having smokes, drinking tea, very, very traditional Turkish. These shoes are $1,099. So stores like this one here, when you go in, you can still bargain in there, but it's gonna be a little more difficult. They usually won't bargain with you that much. The prices are pretty close to what they should be. But if you go down to the, the fake market where we started the video, there you can bargain. The prices that they were giving us there, I would say you could probably bargain a little bit more off. Just say you're gonna pay cash, if you say you're gonna pay cash, if you're gonna, if you say you're gonna pay in dollars or euros, get a better price. Let's go back up this way.
and see if we missed anything. We definitely did. There's some more streets up here that we gotta check out. Got hamsters in the middle of the road. These guys were swearing. Apologize for our Turkish watchers. Turkish viewers, they were swearing. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Turkish spices. Spices. Got coffee. Ooh, Turkish delight. Pistachios. Chickpeas. More uh, kind of dried fruit. It's crazy the amount of amazing food that's around here. And more sweets. These are all freshly made every day here. They got bread in there, we'll, we'll pop in there in a second. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. Hi. Hello. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Bye bye. So that's a nice bakery there. Fresh bread and sweets made daily. I think we've already been down this way, but this time we're gonna go left down here. A lot of foreigners down here too, a lot of foreign tourists, which is kind of cool. But uh, right now, I would say 90% of the people, 95% of the people, maybe even more than that, are the locals. It is Friday, so Fridays, Saturdays, even Sundays, late into the night, uh, the local people like to really relax and have a good time, meet up with friends. The, uh, the lottery. The lottery is big here. Going by the sweets again. Okay, but we are going to go the other way up here and see some new things.
Now we're going to take a walk to Moda. We're going to show that to you as well. Friday night, Moda around 6, 6.30. We'll see what that looks like. That's the place I was telling you about in Kaduke that uh, the younger people go to to have beers and hang out. So right now we're in the center of Kaduke Market. And we're going to make our way to Moda. That guy really had a lot of face tats. My gimbal's up, acting up. It'll straighten out in a second. We're on our way now to Moda, up this way. We're going to be entering it shortly. Basically, half a block and we're there. And my gimbals come back to life, so that's good. Should be straight. Hope you're enjoying this epic walk through the fake market, the food market, the restaurants, the street food. Moda and the bars of Kadiku, Istanbul. Let's quickly make our way into the Moda side now, which starts right about here. This spot on the corner is really cool. Zoo Kadike. Take a picture from here. Oh, they're giving us leeway here. Perfect. You're famous, bro. <laughs> a lot of eye contact. A lot of creepy eye contact. No, just kidding. He's a good guy. All right. We got some beer and booze prices here. FS 35. 
that's a good price. Alcohol is really expensive here. If you can, before coming here, hit the duty free and pick up your alcohol. If you like whiskey, that kind of thing. But beer, the local beer is uh, good, reasonable pricing. This spot here, if you come to Turkey and you're missing out on uh, barbecue, this is a good barbecue spot. As you can see here, as we get into this side, the crowd looks a little different, a little younger, a little more alternative, I think is a, what I want to say. Media, beautiful, look at this guy. Look at this, look at this, beautiful, beautiful. Get your tongue pierced here as well. Let's see. This is a bar here. All right, I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna slow down and capture everything here. So now we're in Moda. We have a street dog. He's in a hurry. He's in a hurry going somewhere. We'll go on this side. And then I'll cross over to the other side, show you the other side as well. Happy hours in full effect, Friday night, 55 lira for um, drinks. So that's $2 for a beer. $2 for a beer. You can come here and hang out and chill, do some people watching, drink some beer. He's saying we should look at their ID. Drinking age here is 18, I believe. Maybe 19. Someone fact check me and drop it in the comments. These are the different bars here. There's an upstairs as well. And it goes around the side. We are gonna make it to the other side as well. On the epic tour, we continue on the epic tour. Okay, let me cross here. There's some more bars up that way, but right now those are going to be empty. So, I'll sort of show you some bars up that way there. Get some <laughs> more action on this side, so let's check it out. Spread the love of coffee. Coffee spot. Got some restaurants here. This side is a little less busy. Got a barber shop. The Turkish barber shops are famous. Looks like he's having a good time there.
another barber shop. It's Friday night, so he's getting straightened out for the weekend. He's got a date tonight. So he's getting ready, you know what I mean? That's how it works here. You gotta look fresh. So we'll go up this way and check out some more bars. Hello. It's Friday night, so everyone's friendly and looking to have some drinks. This area here later on gets even busier. It's still early in the night for Turkish standards. Oh, this place here, this Italian uh, place is really good. Good for uh, date night. Victor Levy. The owner is Turkish, but of Italian heritage. Her family is Italian. That's a really good spot if you want Italian food. Just chilling out, having some drinks. Let me show you the other way here. This place, uh, there's a food called Durum. It's a Basta street food bar. They have really good food in here. Empty right now, but this is one of the places that has long, long lineups. Especially when people start drinking. back down this way a lot of musical instrument stores here in Turkey as well violins back there drums darbukas bongos congos good quality of course the Istanbul symbols world famous Zirgian I believe those are famous as well drummers out there you can correct me I probably butchered that but yeah the famous symbols for the drum kits come from Istanbul I skipped by this place cool little spot there Wanted to get a shot of this gladiator up here. That's kind of cool. Up here on the corner, up top. Friday night, just getting started here. We have some people tapping out. It's early to be tapping out. It's still very early. Hello. Hatsolar, so sizler köfteler. Buyurun. <laughs> He's saying that the dinner is really good. I should have stayed there probably and talked to him. More of that to come.
I have some epic videos lined up for you guys. Make sure you subscribe. If you've if you've watched the whole thing, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'm gonna be making uh, some food reviews videos with a special guest, maybe two special guests. One of them looks like Michael Bublé, a famous Canadian singer. And the other one is really tall and he's a pro basketball player. That's my hint that I'm leaving for you guys. But we're gonna be doing food reviews. They are locals and they're gonna tell us where to go, what to eat, how to eat it, and how much it costs. So subscribe in order to see those videos. So we're coming up soon. We continue on this epic tour of Kadika Istanbul 2023 in 4K. How are you enjoying it? Hope you're enjoying it, the walk. So we're, we just left uh, Moda and we're coming back towards Kadike market area where all the restaurants, the fish, mar fish restaurants and all the restaurants are. Give you the latest from this area. Hello YouTube. Let's find out what time it is. Let's see the locals. Can help us out. Do you know what time it is? Six thirty. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So it's six thirty. Uh, so yeah, about seven it gets. It's gonna be sunset. Check out this place. Up top there. I just saw some people drinking tea up there. That sounds like, wow, I gotta get up there one day. That sounds, that looks like a cool spot. The top of this place, Kube. Very cool. I hear backgammon. I think people are drinking tea and playing backgammon. Let's check it out over here. Yep, that's backgammon. I'm gonna pretend like yeah, there's the back game. All right, I think she's teaching her how to play back game. But that's okay. You got to learn at some point. Look at that down there. It's starting to get busy, even busier. So from here, if I go that way, that's the fake market here in Istanbul, Turkey. But I don't want to go to the fake market right now. I want to go back into the crowd. We want to do some people watching. Hello. Hello, hello. Thanks again for coming along on this epic tour, part of the epic series. Hope you're enjoying the long video. Like I said, more to come. We're going to do food videos with some famous people. So stay tuned. Michael Bublé and a pro basketball player. We're getting the contract signed right now. We're going to be tasting delicious Turkish foods. All of them. We're going to be tasting everything. And reporting right to you. Mm. 
Mm. If you could smell the food here. If you could only, if we had smell-o-vision. All right, we're gonna go over here to the right. I haven't shown you this area yet. That's a tree. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. Barek is a type of a pastry. It's got meat or cheese in the middle of it. Let me see if I can shoot. And then uh, they cut that up. And usually people have that with uh, tea. Playing lottery, drinking tea. Okay. This tantuni is a different type of Turkish food. It's like a rolled burrito with meat coming out of both sides. The middle one there on the right. There's different types. Let's check out the... Oh, this guy's grilling up some chicken kebabs. Um, and it's not over charcoal, that's just regular heat. But we got wings. Köfte, the eggplant dishes, delicious, delicious. And here are the prices, guys. Dollar, two dollars for most of the things. So you could have a nice meal, nice dinner here with meat and other uh, rice, etc., for like five bucks. I mean, that's cheaper than McDonald's these days. How much was your last McDonald's meal? At least fifteen dollars, I bet. All right, let's go down here. Let's go out to the main street. It's the main street that brings all the people down to Kadike from Badajad, which is uh, Baghdad Avenue. got fruit juice for 20 so less than a dollar for fresh squeezed juices carrot juice pomegranate juice whatever you want they got it here this thing here is uh, real I think they build this every day Twenty for that. So is that uh, twenty divided by two? I'm not sure. Oh, we missed another thumbnail. It's too bad. And this is the square here. People are hanging out. It is Friday night. Dinner everywhere. I am really hungry. So this is Kadike, Istanbul. On the Asian side. We're in Turkey. It's 2023 
And this was your epic tour of Kadikuk.